Welcome back to the channel. After I released my last short, someone left a comment that caught my attention. And you know what? They were absolutely right. But why is that the case? In this video, I'm going to explain the science behind it and run an experiment to prove it. Let's dive in. Sunlight is more than just a source of warmth and light. It's a powerful tool that can kill harmful bacteria through a process called UV sterilization. But sunlight has a double-edged sword. While it can kill bacteria, overexposure to UV rays can also be harmful to humans, leading to skin damage and even skin cancer. So how does this work? Sunlight is made up of different types of waves including ultraviolet UV rays, which are beyond the visible spectrum of light. UV light is divided into three types, UVA, UVB, and UVC. UVA and UVB are the rays that reach the Earth's surface and are responsible for both tanning and skin damage. UVC is the most dangerous, but thankfully, it's mostly absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. These UV rays can penetrate bacterial cells, damaging their DNA and effectively killing them or stopping their growth. This is the same process that can damage skin cells, leading to skin aging and increasing the risk of skin cancer. To verify the sterilizing power of sunlight, I conducted a simple experiment. I used three petri dishes with agar and placed a bacterial culture of lactobacillus on each one. I chose lactobacillus for safety reasons, as it's a non-pathogenic strain and can be legally cultivated at home. I applied 0.1 milliliters of the bacterial culture to each petri dish and spread it evenly. Then I placed one dish inside the building, one outside in direct sunlight for one hour, and the last one in the shade, also for one hour. After exposure, all the dishes were incubated for 24 hours to observe the bacterial growth. After 24 hours of incubation, here are the results. On the petri dish that stayed inside the building, we can see large, thriving bacterial colonies. This is exactly what we'd expect with no exposure to sunlight. The dish that was placed in the shade shows significantly fewer colonies. Even though it wasn't exposed to direct sunlight, UV rays can still reach shaded areas due to scattering and reflection, which helped reduce bacterial growth. And now, the petri dish exposed to direct sunlight. This one shows the least bacterial growth by far. The reduction in the number of colonies is remarkable, but it's important to note that sunlight doesn't sterilize completely. While the bacteria were greatly reduced, a small number still survived. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out some of the other videos on the channel. There's plenty more science to explore. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.